Today we'll be taking a look at the very first firearm I ever owned, which is the Marlin Model 880 in 22 long rifle. We'll also be taking a look at the One Leaf NV100 Commander and the Rapid Fire Plus Scope. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. to start off with just a fun little story for my own nostalgia and memory sake. Uh, that is when I was 15 years old up until that time I had shot my father's firearms, I had owned some BB guns and pellet guns and things, but then for Christmas I really wanted this Marlin Model 880 in 22 long rifle. Well I got it and my parents had picked it up for me at Sportsman's Warehouse and I opened it up Christmas morning, I was excited, dad was excited to see me get one. And then, little did he know, my mother had gone back to Sportsman's Warehouse, told them she needed one more so he could have a matching one. He never did put a scope on his, but now we have the matching ones. Well, he's passed away, but he left that to my sister and her husband, so the two matching rifles are still in the family. Well, why don't we go ahead and give an overview of the rifle and the scope setup. Well, here is the Marlin Model 880 right up close. Can't fit it all in the frame, but there's the muzzle and the front sight. This stock I've always thought was just gorgeous. You can see when the light hits it right, it's got that beautiful tiger stripe look to it. It's got it on both sides, but it's more pronounced over here on this side, as you can see right up here, and even somewhat back here towards the towards the back of the stock. It's got a nice little checkering in it up there on the grip and up here on the forearm. It's got a seven round magazine. You'll see that better in a moment when I show you how to load and fire it. Manual safety right up here, just a flip manual safety. Bold action, and again, this is 22 long rifle. Well, let's take a look at this scope that we've got here. Back here is a separate piece. This is One Leaf's Night Vision 100 Commander. It is a night vision camera, and you can also shoot your rifle with it. And make sure you check out the unboxing video. It's actually on my other channel called Air Guns Are Amazing, and there's a link in the description down below. It comes with several sizes of this eye cup. Uh, for eye relief and to put it on this scope the rapid fire plus scope it just inserts here and then turns you'll hear it click and then it's locked right in place and you can just look right through there and see a digital display of the view through the scope the scope is 3 to 12 power in magnification has an illuminated reticle which to be honest I never used those but it's a nice feature to have and it's got a big 56 millimeter objective lens and it actually came with the flip up covers came with one for the rear too but it won't work when this is attached to it so I just don't have that on there right now <coughs> the turrets are covered with caps let's go ahead and pull a cap off and show you now I've already zeroed this scope and what I have not done yet you can see the numbers on the turret there if it'll come into focus for you there you go but what you can do is take off these two screws and then move that so that zero is at the zero position. I just haven't done it yet. One interesting thing that I don't like, it says right on top that one click is one eighth of an MOA. Well, on the numbers on the turret though, the lines are quarters, so the numbers are not accurate. You actually have to divide them by two. If you dial two MOA by the numbers on the turret, it's actually only half because while those are shown in quarters, the clicks are eighths. Not a big deal, and I don't really recommend dialing your shots for this anyway. I don't think they intended to do that, which is why it has the caps. You just set it to zero, forget about it, and just leave the caps on all the time. Parallax adjustment is right here. And to be honest, this is another negative on the scope. When it's at a low magnification, I don't see any difference no matter how I turn this. And no matter how I turn it, I do get some parallax movement, uh, which is not ideal, obviously, in the scope. And it, once I get the magnification turned up to about 9, and again, it goes up to 12, but starting at about 9, I can actually see it starting to focus the image and correcting parallax. But below 9, it really doesn't. And once you get it turned all the way up to 12, then it works great. However, the numbers don't actually line up. Here's a look at what it looked like when it was at 25 yards. The target was at 25 yards, but you can see that's not where the dial is. And here's a look at where it was set when I was actually shooting at 50, way off. And here's a look when I was shooting at 75, also way off. But as long as you just go by the clarity of the image, not the numbers on the dial, then it will work. And then it actually does correct parallax up at those higher magnifications. 
over here is the adjustment for the illuminated reticle. It illuminates only in red and only in the center of the scope. Again, I don't use it, but maybe if you're shooting at first light or last light of the day, it might actually help you just a little bit. And again, this can be taken off. They're also be able to purchase them separately. You can get just that, or you can get the combination of that and the scope. Well, now that you've seen it, why don't we get it out to the range and we'll see how it shoots. The magazine, as I said, holds seven rounds and is very easy to load. And then it just inserts into the bottom of the rifle with a click. I'll start from 25 yards, shooting from the Caldwell Precision Turret Rest to help eliminate the human errors. And here's a look at the target. I'd say it's definitely zeroed at 25 yards. Now I'll move out to 50 yards. I'll shoot one magazine just as I did before, but then I'll shoot a magazine filming through the NV-100 Commander. And again, the NV-100 Commander just clicks right into place easily on this scope. And it's worth mentioning that I'm using the 3 times digital zoom of the NV-100 Commander in addition to the 12 times magnification of the scope.
I decided to shoot one more seven shot group at 50 to see if I could just get the parallax fixed and group a little better. You can see that last group in the bottom right corner of the target. It had one little flyer, but otherwise it was a very good group. As long as you can get the parallax under control in the scope, this rifle's pretty impressive. And now 75 yards, first without the NV-100 Commander, and then with it. This time I'm not using the three times digital zoom, but I will on the next group.
well, naturally, at 75 yards, the groups dropped a little lower and expanded a bit. But for being a little 22 long rifle that I've had since I was a kid, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with this. And of course, I have to show you what the night vision looks like. Those plants are about 25 yards away, and it's pitch dark over there. But they show up pretty clear, and I actually do have the reticle illumination turned on, just on the second to lowest setting. To close out the video, I want to share just some final thoughts on the one leaf setup, the uh, NV100 Commander and the Rapid Fire Plus Scope. My honest recommendation, if you're going to purchase that, and again, there's a link to their website down below, and I should thank them. This was sent out to me at no cost for a review. That's why I'm including it in my video of the Marlin 880. And I do only give honest reviews, and while I generally feel positive about it, be careful in buying this scope. Now this part back here, this, 100% recommend. That's great. I just <laughs> pulled my eye cup partly off, but it doesn't fall off easily. But this piece is fantastic. I definitely do recommend that. And it comes with adapters to hook on other scopes. But now that we've got it off, as for this scope, it has a lot of features. The parallax knob, again, you have to have the magnification up pretty high in order to utilize it. Comes with good flip-up covers. Uh, it, it seems to hold zero pretty well. I, I do like that. It even comes with rings, although I'm not using them right now. I had to use a different set of rings for this rail that's on this rifle. But just be careful in buying it. This scope will not work with all rifles. 56 millimeter objective is very, very big and the scope has to sit high. And you'll notice this rifle stock does not have a very high comb. And you're going to need a high comb to have a good cheek rest way up high to not have to lift your head and strain to see through that scope. Now as long as you do have a rifle for it and you're shooting at high magnification, the scope is great. But if you're shooting at lower magnification or a rifle with a lower comb, what I would actually recommend that you do is just get the scope you already like and the adapter that will fit to put the one leaf night vision piece on. They're good products, but again, it's just not for all rifles or for all people, though the night vision part is. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed this look today at the Marlin Model 880 and the one leaf night vision 100 Commander and the Rapid Fire Plus Scope. And again, I'll leave a link to one leaf's website down in the description below. You can also look there to find where to find me on social media. And please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And while you're in the description, check out where to find great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.